Bonjour class, bienvenue. Aujourd'hui, c'est le 27 avril 2020. Today is April 27th, 2020. Aujourd'hui, on va apprendre les verbes en R-E. So today we're going to learn RE verbs. And RE verbs are quite similar in conjugating as far as like learning when we did ER verbs. So RE verbs are, are a little bit different, but also kind of the same. So let's get started. And the first thing that we need to do is draw our table. You guys are quite familiar with this table now. So we're going to draw our table so we can conjugate our verb. And the first step to conjugating our verb is to take off the ending and add on new endings. So new endings for our e verbs are for the je form just s and for the to form s for the il own form nothing you don't add anything so you take off the re but you don't add anything so we're going to leave that one blank now the ones on this side you have seen before they are the er verb endings like o n s u z and UNT. So you've seen these three before. It's just these ones that are new. So the right hand side are ER verb endings and the ones on the left are the new ones. Now I have a little trick to help out with remembering the ones on the left. Let's pretend that you are on a boat and your boat just so happens to be called the SS nothing. So you're on a boat and it just so happens to be called the SS nothing. Now, hopefully, if you can remember the name of your ship, then you'll remember the conjugations are S, S, nothing. So hopefully that helps with remembering some things. Let's go ahead and do some examples. The first one that I want to talk about is the verb attendre. And attendre is the verb to wait. All right, let's just go subject by subject. So let's say that I'm waiting. To say I'm waiting, we have je. Now, because it's a vowel, we have to put the apostrophe. So je apostrophe and conjugate our verb. First off, write your stem. Take off that RE. And now I need to add on my new ending. And my new ending is going to be S. So j'attends is I wait. Like when I've said in class before, j'attends means I'm waiting. All right, let's do another example. Second verb is entendre. Entendre is the verb to hear. Like I hear the music. So let's do that example. I hear the music or you hear the music. So we have two. Now we need to write our stem. Entendre. We need to add on our new ending. And for the to form, our new ending is going to be an S. So to entend. And then we need to write the rest of our sentence, the music, la musique. We can even make that a question. Troisième, third example. Let's do the verb paired. Paired. Perdre is the verb to lose. Like, oh, I lose the match. I don't know. So let's say that he loses. I don't know. So let's do il. Now we need to take our verb and put it in the stem. And because it's an il form, it's an re verb. We take off the re, but we leave, we add nothing. So we just leave it how it is. So il, pair. End of story. Quatrième, fourth one. Let's do the verb répondre. Répondre. Répondre is the verb to respond. And if you have a, it means to something. So you could say like to respond to madame or respond to the question, et cetera, et cetera. So this is the verb to respond and then to something. Let's do new, like we respond. We could say we respond to madame. So new, now we need to write our stem and we need to add our new endings and then finish our sentence. Let's say to madame, because we all respond to madame, right? A madame, M-M-E is short for madame if you don't remember. 
Cinquième, fifth example or fifth verb, let's do the verb vendre. Vendre is the verb to sell. So if you're trying to sell something online, you'd use the verb vendre. So vendre, let's conjugate it and say that y'all sell, like y'all sell books. So vous, conjugate, take off your RE and write your stem. Bon. And now add on the new endings because it's vu, it's so easy. So we need to add on EZ. Vous vendez, but we could say a book, un livre. Vous vendez un livre. Sixième. We have rendre, which is the verb to return. Like, I'm going to return your work to you. And let's say that the girls return the ball. So we'll say L, the girls, they return, write your verb, but minus the RE, so rond. Add your new ending. And we could say the ball, le ballon. All right, and I'm gonna give you one other verb, but I'm not gonna write it as an example. I'm just gonna tell you the meaning. It's kind of similar to rendre, but then there's rendre, visite, ah, which means to visit someone. To visit someone. Like I'm going to visit my mom or I'm going to visit you. So RE verbs are quite similar, quite easy. All you have to remember is the name of your ship, SS nothing. And then if you can just remember that all of these are ER verb endings, that should help you out. Just keep in mind that the SS nothing is probably going to be the thing that helps you remember it. Okay, until then, uh, until I see you guys next time, a plus.